Well, putting this uh, <clears throat> 598 together, the short block came from Shafroff racing engines. Um, everything looked fine until I went to put things together. Uh, the camshaft didn't go in far enough because they hammered in the uh, this rear plug here too far. So when I went to uh, put the timing chain and everything on, uh, nothing lined up because the camshaft wouldn't go in far enough. Plus the, the lifters weren't on the lobes all the way. Like, I mean in the center of the lobe. So I had to hammer in the uh, the camshaft a little more to get the cam button in and get that all buttoned up. But uh, so far that's the only problem I've found. I'm just going to grab this little wasp here. You hit him with a brake cleaner that usually does him in. They don't like brake cleaner. <laughs> um, the other thing that uh, it was just time consuming, I had to check piston to valve clearance. So I had to take these, uh, these rocker stands off, put just a regular rocker stud guide plate, bush rods, and a regular rocker arm on there with my, uh, my little valve checker springs here. Just put those in and then uh, turn the motor over and then I can check the valve, piston the valve clearance with the head on. I don't have to put putty on the, on the top of the piston. I can just push on the rocker arm. You know, I can feel the piston actually pushing the valve up and then I just push the rocker arm up and down just to see how much clearance I have. If there's very little clearance, then I get the dial gauge out and actually measure how much there is. But in this case, there were lots, so I didn't have to get the dial gauge out. But uh, yeah, I gotta put the oil pan on um, and intake manifold, and that's it. It's pretty much ready to drop in the car, so I'm gonna try and have this thing running this weekend. <laughs>